Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching this video and for subscribing to my channel. So in this video what I want to talk is how you can create groups out of your element. So basically what you do is put them together into a group and then you can apply different effects to all of them just as if uh, it was just one, okay? And the other option is creating submodels out of your element, which is pretty much just breaking down an element into smaller pieces and then you can apply a sequence to each of those pieces, okay? So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I have x slice already open here in, my, in the back. Um, I'm going to go into my layout section and lay down a couple of elements. I'm going to select a star, say simple star, and also I'm going to create a download uh, from Vascoya Studios and I'm going to select a star from them. Uh, by the way, if this window does not open when you do a create new download, that means that you need to upgrade uh, to the latest version of x -Lite. okay? So just upgrade and this will work. So let's go into the star section and do select a 46 inch six ring um, star, which means that it has six rings all around them. I'm going to insert model. Here we go. So we have two, two, um, two stars. I'm going to go now into the sequencer and I'm going to start a new sequence. It's going to be an animation, 20 frames per second, and done. So now I'm just going to apply a simple effect to the first one and also um, add more colors, add another effect to the second one. And there we go. We got two effects. On, on our stars but now what we can do is we can break them down into small portions or, or small elements uh, let's say that we want to lead only uh, one of the points of the star you know uh, or the two from the bottom okay so we need to break it down and then come back and and then we can do that okay so let me show you how that is done so go back into your layout section and first of all uh, it's always good to get an idea of how uh, this star is, is built, right? So right click on it and select the wire view. Now remember, this is the view from the back of the star, okay? So if you're looking at the lower right, when you're looking from the front, it's actually the left, okay? So it says that, um, let's say the bottom uh, point starts in 1 and it goes to 11 then 11 to 21, 21 to 31, 31 to 41, and then 41 to 50, or to number 1, actually, okay? So let's start by selecting 1 to 11, okay? So let me close this portion. And now, if you scroll down, you have the sub-models, okay? Make sure that you have selected it. And then you select it and click on it. And we got a view for element. And we got an empty list on the left where we're going to add our um, sub elements, okay? We got an old range and a sub buffer, and I'll show you what these are. So I'm going to start by clicking the add button. And let's click in here and do 1 11, which is our light number 1 until our light number 11. Click enter, and you see that we now have light on this uh, lower point. Now, if you add a comma, you can actually do 12 to 21. Click enter. Oh, click dash 21. So again, 111, comma, 12, dash 21. So now I have that two uh, points, have two points just by putting a comma in between and by selecting the nodes, right? Uh, so this is you can do. You can only, uh, you cannot only select a range of nodes, but you can jump to different places of your element by adding a comma. So I'm going to take out um, that last entry and just leave 1 to 11. So that's just one of the one of the points. So I'm going to click add again and now I'm going to show you the sub buffer. So we got four, uh, four dots that we can drag uh, and this we're going to do is drag them until you select a portion of your element. So let's say that I'm going to drag this corner. I'm, I'm going to select this uh, this uh, point. There we go. 
Okay, so we only selecting this one. I'm gonna click Add, and I'm gonna select the next one. And I'm gonna go something like this, and then something like this. Now, there might be elements that are too complex to use this sub buffer, so then you will have to use the node range. Okay. Uh, there we go for that one. Then let's select the top one. We do it the same way. There we go. And then let's add one more. Mm -hmm, something like that. And there we go. And you can actually move this around if you want to, okay? So just about there. So now we have all of them, okay? Make sure that you click OK before you leave, otherwise nothing will be saved. Now if I come back, I now have all my sub-elements, okay? Number two, number three, four, and five, okay? So now we can pretty much go back to our sequencer and see if something has changed, okay? So we're going back into the sequencer. And now if I double click in here, now I have all those sub-models, okay? Now, let's go back to the layout. Now let's see what happens with this one. If I scroll down and select the submodels, turns out that this one already came with submodels, you know, out of the box. So the scoyolite already uh, included some submodels uh, for this element. And uh, it looks like it's doing uh, the outer ring, that the next ring is going to the inside, and the next ring, and the next ring, and the next ring. And you can see the uh, the nodes uh, ranges in here, okay? And there we go, okay? So this one is already broken down, so that's that's nice, okay? Um, let's now uh, cancel out of this and go into the sequencer, and let's see what we have here. So if I double click in here, I already have these options, I already have some models, okay? So I'm gonna click in this one, I'm gonna delete it, and let's uh, throw in here this effect right over here. I'm gonna change this to be red and I'm gonna do a control copy and then control V. Oh, control V in here. Same in here, in here, in here, and on the last one. And I'm gonna do this, make this one a little bit uh, longer in time. So now you can see what I'm doing, right? So now each ring, all of them are gonna lead at the beginning, but now they can start disappearing. There we go. Ah, pretty cool, right? So you can come out with this effect or many other effects if you want to, just by uh, using some models and then applying different uh, different settings to each of, uh, of those uh, models, you know. I'm going to change this to be another color. Let's make it green. And let's make this one uh, maybe blue, you know. So now the whole thing changes a little bit. And there we go. And when we play it, well, we start seeing how everything looks now, all right. And you can still have another um, effect in your model level which will use all of them right this will be like all of the all of the nodes okay so when we play it it's going to do the sub models and then the full model just like that okay and we can do the same for our star which we did uh, by hand um, uh, i'm going to select you know the same effect if you want to i'm going to paste it in here this one's going to look a little bit different because this is what we're doing is going by uh, each of the points of the star, but pretty much it's the same concept, okay? And there we go. You know, starts with all of them and then they start just being one by one. We drag this one and we can play them. Right. And there we go. So this is a concept of, you know, breaking down your element into sub uh, sub models, okay?
Now let's take a look at uh, how to create a group out of your models. So for that, uh, let me stop the sequence and go back to our layout. And I'm going to delete this one. Uh, take it out of your um, sequence, yes. I'm going to delete this one as well. And let's bring some uh, some trees, you know. Let's, let's think that we have some small trees in the front of your house. And do we control V, control V. So something like this. Okay. And one more, that's it. And then let's bring down again um, that star. I like that star. And do the same. Let's say that you have they have these ones in a wall, and you have them arranged, in, you know, in different ways, just like this. Okay, and maybe you have a matrix over here, and then you might have some arched in here as well let's say control copy control V V V okay so now let's say that this is your, your show you know and you have them right in front of your house so now let's make a group out of them and then we we'll apply some effects to it and that will give you a better idea uh, there are different ways you can add groups but uh, let's do it the easiest way which is right click in it and then do create an empty group I'm gonna name it all models Click enter. And now we have this table on the bottom. Uh, basically, it lists everything that we have in our show. And I'm going to click the first one and do a shift and arrow down. I'm going to select all of them. And I'm going to move them to the right. So now this becomes my group, my all model groups. Okay. So now let's go back into the sequencer. So now. Uh, since I already have a sequence started, I'm going to right click in here and go into my edit display elements and add that one uh, to my view. Okay, so here it is all models. Move it to the right, and now we have our models. Now we can close. And if you double click on it, it will show everything. So you can still do effects uh, one by one if you want to. But now, if I do, let's say, a, a pinwheel effect in here, now all of them are going to lit. And let's, let's do, uh, let's make it thicker. Uh, like that. Okay, much better. We can add a twist to it. Right? We can go the other way around. And this is how you can come up, you know, with an, a, a really nice effect when all of your house is lit up. You know, you can add uh, strobe lights or snowflakes to all of them. Of course, you need to have a good number of elements. I mean, if you have a couple of them, well, I mean, yeah, they will be in sync. But when you have all your front house, uh, like some of um, um, of the people do, I have a, 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 um, a video here to show you. Uh, I, I, this is mute because I don't want any problems with, with the music. Uh, so. Now that we see them, you see how he's doing all kind of effects, you know. So this is by adding groups, okay. And there we go. We got a big, large group in there. Then we got a real quick the pink wheel right there. And this is how, you know, the first time you saw it, you will probably say, "Well, how is he doing all this?" Well, it's just by adding groups, you know. And you know, you can have all your arches in one group. You can have all your uh, mega trees or small trees that are in front of your house in one group and apply effects to all of them or your matrices you have a different matrix you can play the same video in all of them and suddenly just lead everything up you know so this is a good option uh, when you're creating a show you know put them into the group and then add effects to them and and that's it guys you know pretty much things that you can do um, you can take like this spin wheel and move it to one side also, you know, and put it, you know, on the bottom. So that's another effect, you know. You can make it slower. You can make it fast. All right. You can add more twist if you want, or just, you know, straight line. 
or how many arms you want you know or you can add any other type of effect to it all right okay guys so this is a, this was a small video uh, just to talk about um, how you can group your models and your, and how you can create sub models out, out of your models and then apply all kind of effects all right guys well thank you again very much for watching this video please like this video and if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel all right so thank you very much for watching again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.